On Tuesday the 6th of April 2021, New Zealand finally got a new passenger train service. <laughs> took us long enough. This was of course Te Huia, a service that initially ran from Hamilton's Frankston Station to Papakura in South Auckland. The service got its name from an extinct New Zealand bird, and has had a pretty rocky first year to say the least. Te Huia initially called at just two stations, namely Rotokauri and Huntley with the former being brand new and built specifically for this service. It's located adjacent to the base, which is a big shopping centre in Hamilton. As for Huntley Station, that's just an overhaul of the existing platform. Motive power is provided by three of KiwiRail's DFB-class diesel locomotives, which were built by General Motors of Canada in 1979 and 1981. As for the coaches, they're not brand new either. In fact, they were originally British Rail Mark II coaches that got exported to New Zealand in the 1990s. In the early 2000s, long before Te Huia was even thought of, some of those old Mark IIs were rebuilt as SA coaches or SD cab cars for commuter service in Auckland. There, they were used in push-pull service with DC or DFB locomotives. But the CAF-built AM-class electric multiple units, otherwise known simply as AMs, had replaced them by July 2015, with the coaches being sent for storage in Mount Munga Nui and later Tomaru Nui, where a lot of them can still be found today. Twelve of these coaches were refurbished at hut workshops for use on Te Huia, with three of them being the former SD cab cars, while the other nine being the SA coaches. The coaches retained their old door layout and general appearance, while being redesignated as SR, SRC or SRV, and of course being painted in the distinctive grey and black livery. The interiors on these refurbished coaches, or should I say re-refurbished, are very different from how they used to be, to say the very least. The base SR is just your typical passenger coach, complete with luggage space at one end, 50 seats and a toilet, while the SRC has a small cafe, plenty of wheelchair space, an accessible toilet and 17 seats. As for the SRV cab car, that's got space for bicycles, 26 seats and a diesel generator set behind the cab, kind of like head-end power on US diesel locomotives, only in Tehuya's case the HEP equivalent is not in the locomotive itself. Currently the weekday services are typically formed of a simple four-car formation, consisting of two SRs, one SRC and one SRV, with a locomotive at each end, instead of running in push-pull formation like the coaches used to do in Auckland. Sometimes the Saturday service has an extra coach added to the consist. As stated previously, Te Huia used to only run as far north as Papakura, where passengers had to change to one of Auckland Transport Services to continue further north. From there, the DFB locomotives hauled the empty coaches to Westfield Yard. Starting on July 24, 2021, Saturday service was extended to Auckland Strand Station. The platforms that make up the Strand Station are a surviving portion of the old Auckland Railway Station that opened in 1930, to replace the site of the original station at the foot of Queen Street. This old station was on Beach Road, and consequently was very poorly sited in relation to the CBD. This old station was replaced by Britomart in 2003, thus bringing passenger trains back to the foot of Queen Street, although the current station is of course underground as the chief post office was built on the site of the original station. However, that chief post office was of course incorporated into Britomart Station.
Going back to the subject of this video, the frequency of the Tehuya service left a lot to be desired, and in my opinion it still does. On weekdays there were originally just two northbound services very early in the morning, with two southbound in the evening. Saturday service has always consisted of one northbound trip in the morning and one southbound trip late in the evening. Perhaps the biggest disruption to Tehuya's entry into service was the Rona, as indeed the whole country was slammed into restrictions again on August 17th, 2021. Consequently, Tehuya and the Northern Explorer had to stop running, with the Northern Explorer being a long distance train running from Auckland to Wellington, and it was the only remaining passenger service that still covered the full length of the North Island main trunk. Annoyingly, the Northern Explorer is still dormant at the time of uploading, with seemingly no indication as to when, or even if, the service will ever resume. As for Tehuya, that service was relaunched on January 24th, 2022, with yours truly in attendance to ride the first service, although it got off to an embarrassing and shambolic start when the first set of coaches they'd brought in had to be returned to the yard because of electrical issues. On a more positive note, from January 24th, all Tehuya services now run to Auckland Strand. And for its return, the timetable was significantly changed, though I think there's still a lot of room for improvement. Kiwi Rail now just uses one set of coaches for two round trips each weekday, whilst making no changes to the Saturday service and still using two of the three DFBs available. Rolling stock maintenance is carried out at Kiwi Rail's Te Rapa Yard. Another notable change was the addition of a stop at the recently rebuilt Puhinui station, thus providing a link to the orange electric buses that take you to Auckland Airport. The morning service leaves Hamilton's Frankton Station at 6.15am, getting to the Strand at 8.42. Then the same concert leaves the Strand at 9.18 for an 11.45 arrival back in Hamilton. The afternoon service leaves Frankton at 2.07pm, then arrives in Auckland at 4.33. Then the last weekday service leaves the Strand at 5.18pm for an arrival back in Frankton at 7.47pm. As for tickets, you can use either a B card or cash slash bank cards, though it's cheaper if you use the B card. For example, it'll cost you $30 cash to go all the way from Frankton to Auckland Strand, but only $18 using that garish yellow card, and currently the fares are half price until June 30th, 2022. Going forward, I still think Tehuya could be improved even further, though that's not to say it's horrible in its current state. More specifically, I mean the service should run at least four times a day in each direction, especially since they've got enough coaches. And a more frequent service usually leads to increased passenger numbers, especially since it would also benefit those wanting to catch a plane from Auckland. Although this is probably wishful thinking, I think Tehuya should also get stations in Pokeno and Tuako, especially since that area is running rampant with new residential developments. But I dare say that's all quite a long way off, so for now I'd like to run a compilation with most of the Tehuya footage I've captured throughout the first few months of 2022. As a bonus, I'm also going to include some footage of the Glenbrook Vintage Railway's DBR 1254 at the Rotokodi station. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.